So, if you look at the path the sun takes in the sky mm -hmm. uh, throughout the year, right? Okay, so the sun actually moves against the background stars. You can't see the stars, but you can you can kind of see them at twilight, like before sunrise. But it's not so bright that you can't see the stars. Look at the stars that are there. They come back in a month. It's a different set of stars. Because I say the sun is moving, we are orbiting the sun, so our sight line on the sun is changing. Mm -hmm. Every month, we, the sun is in front of a different set of stars. Right. All right. That is called the ecliptic. The moon orbits in a plane that is tilted to the ecliptic. Gotcha. You can only get an eclipse if both the sun and and the moon are in the same place right in their tilted orbits okay okay i'm just saying the sun has an orbit i'm very pre-copernican in this description okay when they're in the same place then earth the sun and the moon line up right. but at any other time the moon is above the sun below the sun or to the side and it's not it's got to be right and it's called the ecliptic because when the sun moon and earth line up you get a uh, uh, eclipse 